one of New Jersey's biggest malls is on track to get even bigger by adding residential and even more retail space. News 12's Christy Kalishian updates us on the project that's been years in the making. It'll be paradise put up on what's currently a parking lot. I'm all for changes and everything. Let's see if it works out and it's not a waste of money, then that's great. But if, if it doesn't, it's causing more problems than it is solving them, then let's not do it. The mall just announced Mill Creek Residential as its co-developer. 550 luxury apartments, a shopping center, green space, and much more will come to what's now the mall's west lot. It's considered the mall's busiest entrance because of its bus stop, which will still be there when the apartments are built up. It's hoped to serve as Paramus's downtown area, which it currently doesn't have. Do you think it's worth it with all the traffic? Probably no. I just don't think a downtown area belongs in Paramus. Easy access to routes 4 and 17 may be a perk for the future residents, but shoppers and commuters here in the state's most populated county think that the traffic here is already bad enough. Uh, one of my arguments uh, when we compare our malls to uh, American uh, Dream, the investment we're making into American Dream while ignoring the infrastructure uh, that is servicing those malls that are already established, I think there has to be equitable uh, improvements. Garden State Plaza is one of two properties dependent on one out of every four dollars spent in Paramus. Shoppers here feel that Paramus is already overpopulated, but its mayor, Rich LaBarbiera, who's excited for the project, says the borough is seeing its population decline. And instead of being at that 27, 28,000 plus, we're down to 26,000 and change. The project is anticipated to break ground in 2024 with residents slated to come in in 2026. In Paramus, Christy Kalishian, News 12, New Jersey.